Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So today we are going to make some chicken flautas. But this is the Galley of the Sun. So they're going to be smoked chicken flautas. So what the hell is a chicken flauta? Well first of all you got to talk about taquitos. So taquitos were first mentioned in a publication in 1917. And taquito means little taco. Specifically it was talking about a corn tortilla that had a filling that was rolled up and fried. As time went on, they got a little bit bigger. So if they are larger, if they have corn or flour tortillas, now we're talking about flautas. And that's what we're going to make today. Last night, I took a bunch of chicken thighs and I got them in some Sweetwater Spice Company Ancho Chipotle brine. Yesterday. <laughs> So now, 24 hours later, they're good and marinated. We're going to get them out in the smoker. Right now, my smoker is set to 225 degrees. I got mesquite wood in there. We're going to let these go out there for about an hour and soak up that delicious smoke flavor. All right, as the director slaves away and gets the chicken diced up, we're going to go ahead and make the rest of the filling. So I'm going to turn a cast iron skillet here onto medium heat, and I'm going to add one half cup of butter, which is an entire steak. Now, I am doubling the recipe from what is down below because I know the director likes her flautas. Now that the butter is pretty much melted, I'm going to add a half a cup of flour, and we're going to make ourselves a roux. All right, to our roux, we're going to add the onions. We're going to cook these for about five to ten minutes until they're good and soft and translucent. All right, so the onions are coming on nicely. So now we're going to add about a half cup of hatch green chilies. And as I said, I'm doing a double recipe. A half cup of sliced black olives. Four tablespoons of lemon juice. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We'll get all that mixed up. Now we're going to add in our chicken, expertly diced by the director. We'll get all that mixed in and incorporated. And with that amount, a note to the FDA, I'm pretty sure that's at least 15%. At least. But I'm not calling these taquitos. I'm calling them flautas. My kitchen is smelling absolutely amazing. All right, they're all mixed in. Going to turn off the heat and we'll start making some flautas. All right, from here on out, it's pretty easy. So we're going to take some uh, of our flauta mix here. We're not going to go crazy. This isn't a burrito. Remember, this is a flauta. Get a little bit on there. Make sure it's at least 15% meat in accordance with the US FDA. And then we're going to roll that puppy up tight. And we're going to secure it with a couple toothpicks. We will repeat this until we run out of tortillas or filling or patience. As you're waiting for your oil to heat, it's a perfect time to try some of that limited edition Bailey's Colada. Not sponsored, unfortunately. I feel like I'm wearing a grass skirt right now. It's so good. I'm not. All right, so as you can see here, we got a pretty decent amount of taquitos. You want these to cook at around 350 degrees. All we're doing is crisping them up, so it should take about two minutes each. However, when we put these in the oil, it's going to lower the temperature. So since we want to cook at about 350, we want to get that oil up to about 360, 370-ish before we start chucking these in there. And we are there. Let's start chucking. Unlike that first one, lay them away from you. Safety first. All right, got some done. Now the taste test. The director will let us know, and she will, if we did good or not. Sounds crunchy. Mm. 
When she's chewing, if you're liking what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, never miss an episode. Put down in the comments, what is your favorite type of flautas? Mm. Mm. The answer is? Very good. There you go. The director is pleased. I am not in trouble. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, fair winds and following seas.